After the infam layout optimization algorithm, now we will try to understand a new metaheuristic algorithm. In this video, we will discuss a new metaheuristic algorithm that is crystal structure algorithm. As you can see here, it is introduced in 2021. It is a population based metaheuristic optimization algorithm that is basically inspired by the crystal structure formation and 239 different mathematical functions are used to test the algorithm performance plus 12 different classical and modern metaheuristic algorithms are used for the comparison and this algorithm provides efficient results when it is compared with different metaheuristic algorithms so we can use this algorithm to solve different optimization problems now step by step we will try to understand how this algorithm is working as this algorithm is inspired by the crystal structure formation crystal structure formation that is the concept that determines the development of crystal structures by adding starting points into the lattice points now question is what is lattice different types of lattice First, we will discuss the key concepts so that we can easily understand the algorithm working because in this algorithm to update is in position in the search space different lattice principles are considered so first we will understand the basic now first question is what is lattice the key to the crystal formation is the formation of crystal lattice lattice is regular repeating 3D representation of atoms, molecules or ions within crystalline solids. For example, you can see here the crystal formation process that we will discuss in the upcoming slides. So we have different atoms, molecules or ions within a crystalline solid. Here you can see the lattice. Lattice play major role to determine different physical, chemical properties of any material now you can see we have different lattice types now different lattice types means we have different ways in which atoms molecules or ions can be arranged in shape to form crystalline so we can arrange the atoms or molecules or ions in different arrangements and form different shapes for the crystals so that is called so that is we have different types of lattice for example you can see we have three different types of lattice first simple cubic second body centered cubic and the third one face centered cubic in this algorithm most well known regular shapes are considered in simple cubic you can see the atoms are located at the corners of the cube in body centered cubic you can see the atoms are located at the corners of the cube with additional atom at the center of cube so last we have face centered cubic here again you can see the atoms are also at the corners of the cube plus the atoms are also in the center of each face of the cube next you can see here we have different crystals regular shapes that are considered in this algorithm for example cubic crystal octahedral triclinic monoclinic tetrahedral hexagonal and other so crystals can be formed in different shapes so here you can see the crystal formation process first you can see the atoms are separated crystal formation start with a phenomena called nucleation Nucleation occurs when individual atoms, molecules or ions that come together and form clusters. So first they will form the clusters that is often referred as nuclei. Here the nuclei serve as the starting point for the crystal formation. So once the nuclei is formed, they can grow by adding additional atoms molecules or ions in a way that maintain a repeating and ordered arrangement as more and more particles join the growing crystal lattice the crystal phases formation start here you can see the crystal phases 
formation started as the more particles are joined and in the end it form a crystal having flat faces sharp edges and well defined angles between them next we have different key characteristics for the crystals like their symmetry different shapes the material used mechanical properties arrangement transparency so first we have the crystal arrangements as we already discussed in crystal formation process as we already discussed in the crystal formation process different atoms molecules or ions are arranged in crystals in precise and repeating patterns that form the crystal structure next we have crystal symmetry crystals look same when they are rotated or reflected next we have crystal shapes crystals can have different shapes crystal shapes are often well defined and used to identify crystals as in the metaheuristic algorithms we use different search agents who explore the search space and find out the optimal solution in crystal search algorithm different lattice principles are considered and they are used to update agent's position in the search space for example you can see here we have four different mathematical models that are used to update agent's position in the search space first simple cubical next cubical with best crystal next cubical with mean crystal and the last one cubical with best and the mean crystal next you can see here different steps used in this algorithm first we will initialize first we will initialize the crystal position randomly in the search space then for each crystal we will calculate the fitness value after that here we will start the main loop for this algorithm we will create crystals and update their position in the search space then we will check whether the new solutions are within the boundary or not after that we will calculate the fitness value for the new solution and we will update the best solution we will repeat the loop until the stopping condition is met and when the stopping condition is met we will return the best solution now step by step we will try to understand how this algorithm is working first step that is the random initialization of the search agents in the search space here we have crystal as the search agents so we will randomly initialize the position for the each crystal in the search space for example you can see here we have n crystals 1 to n for example you can see here we have n crystals n can be 100 1000 suppose we have 100 crystals suppose the value for n we have 100 so we have 100 different crystals now we will initialize the position for 100 crystals in the search space and j you can see 1 to d that is the that is the problem dimensions or the number of design variables now we have 100 crystals and here you can see x 1 1 that is the position for the first crystal in the search space and here you can see value for j that is up to d that is the dimension x 1 2 that is the position for the search agent x 1 3 1 4 1 3 4 up to x 100 we will initialize the position for each crystal in the search space after that we will use here the objective function to calculate the fitness value for the 100 crystals so here you can use uni model multi model or the composition function to calculate the fitness value for each crystal in the search space and if you are using this algorithm to solve any real life optimization problem then you can define the then you can define your objective here so once the fitness value for each crystal is calculated then we will rank the crystals from best to worst for the minimization problems we will consider the crystal or you can say agent having minimum value as the best agent and the agent having the and the crystal or you can say agent having the maximum value as the worst agent so we will save the best value and update it in each iteration and when the 
stopping condition is met return that best value next the main loop for this algorithm started here for each agent that is one to population size here we consider the population size is 100 so value for i we have 1 to 100 so now for each crystal we will update their position right now we have the virtual environment we have virtual crystals so as per crystallography concept we will consider the crystal at the corner as the main crystal so create main crystal and then we will create a new crystal this is the mathematical equation that we will use to create new crystal is equal to old crystal plus the main crystal r that is the lattice point here so to calculate the lattice point value we'll use here this equation where i is the number of crystal corners n is any integer a is a vector now next we will create a crystal with best configuration so again we will create a new crystal with the best configuration and here this is the equation that we will use to create the crystal having best configuration now here we have the so here we have the old position crystal older position r1 r2 they are the random number so here we have the main crystal main crystal that is the crystal at the corners we can randomly select the main crystal and then you can see here we have the best crystal crystal best that is the best crystal this is not the main crystal main crystal only this one this is the this is the best crystal that is the crystal having the best fitness value after that we will calculate the mean value for the randomly selected crystals that is fc you can see fc that is the randomly selected crystal so here we will calculate the mean value so this is the equation again so this is the equation that we will use here to create new crystal older position plus random value r1 and the main crystal plus r2 again a random value then we have a randomly selected crystal apsi so now we have the main crystal best crystal randomly selected crystal so finally we will update the position using this equation older position plus the random value we have r1 r2 r3 then the main crystal best crystal and the randomly selected crystal that is fc we created a new crystal so first we created a new crystal using main crystal then we created a new crystal using best crystal after that we created a new crystal using randomly selected crystal and finally we create a new crystal using this equation so when the new crystal is created it means it is a new solution so we need the value for this inside the bounds that is within the lower bound and upper bound so we'll do here the boundary check to determine whether the new value for the crystals we calculated it is within the boundary or not after that we will apply the objective function to calculate the fitness value for the new solutions fitness value for the new solutions is calculated we will do comparison so here we will compare the older solutions with the new solutions and we will rank them from best to worst and we will update the global best solution we will repeat this loop until the stopping condition that is the current iteration less than maximum iteration so when the stopping condition is met we will stop and we will increment the counter again we will check the now the next iteration is less than maximum iteration or not repeat the loop until the stopping condition is met and once the stopping condition is met we will return the best solution so first we will randomly initialize the position for each crystal in the search space then using objective function calculate the fitness values for each crystal then we will start the main loop here where we will create new crystals using older crystal values and we will update their position in the search space then we will check whether the new solution that we created they are within the search space boundary or not and once and after that again using objective function we will calculate the fitness value only for the new solutions then perform the comparison after comparison rank solution from best to worst and consider save the best solution increment the counter repeat the loop until the stopping condition is met once the stopping condition is met stop and display the best solution 
that's all about this video if you have any questions you can comment below and thanks for watching this video